hello friends welcome back to the channel in this video we are going to learn how we can send a verification email and how we can create our own custom verification email for example in here i am going to create a new user with the name of tester and testing at gmail.com and give them a password confirm password register the user has been registered now if the user check his email he will get a verification an email like this that the, the user has to verify his email address when the user click the verify email address he will redirect him to the login page and in here he has to type his email and password to get verified so login now if we check on the database as you guys can see the user has been verified at this date and time so let's see how we can create this template and how we can send the, the verification email to the user so let's start by creating a app password in our gmail account let's go to our gmail account and in the right upper corner we have to click and cl select manage your google account then in the search bar type app and password then in the search results select app password then in here we have to give him a name for example i will give him testing verification then click create okay so the app password has been created now we have to copy this right click copy and we have to go to our dot env mail password in here we have to type our app password so let's paste it then change the mail host to smtp.gmail.com the port to 465 and the, give the mail address so i will type here my own email address and at the end just change mail encryption to tls now the next step is, is to go inside our app models and inside our user model and uncomment this part must verify email then in here you have to type implements must verify email now let's go to google and in the google we have to type laravel email verification enter then let's select the first email link that comes and let's scroll down until we found the routing section in here we need to copy three routes so first this route let's copy and paste it inside our web.php let's go to our web.php and let's paste it here then let's go back scroll down and we have to copy this one also the email verification handler so let's copy this one also let's right click copy and paste it here let's bring the this one also and paste it in the top now let's go back and the last one resending the verification email let's copy this also paste it down and copy this use request up to now everything is set now if i go to my project and click the register button in here let's register a fake user so this uh, the name and this is the email address let's give him a password also now let's click the register okay so the user has been registered and if i come to my users table in here as you guys can see the user has been registered but the email verified at field is empty so let's go to our email address let's go to send refresh let's click the, this one as you guys can see this email has been sent to the user now if the user click verify email address so let's click this let's uh, copy the email from here and paste it in here let's type the password login okay the user has been logged in now let's go refresh so as you guys can see that this field has been filled 
with the current date and time and it, this one indicate that the user has been verified now let's see how we can customize our email so let's go back to the documentation and let's scroll until we find the customization part so let's scroll down and let's copy this let's go to our app service provider by going to providers app pro providers and app service provider and we have to paste it inside the boot method now let's uh, copy the other parts as well so let's copy this too and paste it in the top so this is the subject if you want to change the subject you can type anything in here you want for example i in here i will just type subject and this part is the content so i will type that here this is content and in here this is the button so let's change the title of the button to the button and one more thing we can also change the email title by going to our dot env and at the top in app name we can change it here for example laravel testing now let's go back and create a new user so let's go here let's log out this user okay now let's click the register and let's uh, create a new user in here with the fake email so this email at gmail.com this password now let's click register let's go back to our email send okay this okay as you guys can see the title has been changed to laravel testing the same as our application name and the content also this is content and as you guys can see the pattern has been also changed so this is how you can customize the email now let's see how we can protect our routes for only verified users for only those users who have verified their email address to allow them if I come to my database and I refresh here, as you guys can see, only one email address has been verified, the rest is not. So if I come here and in my project, if I click the chat here, as you guys can see, everyone can access it, but I don't want, I only want those email addresses who have verified their emails. So to protect my route, I will come to web.php and in here, let's go we'll find our chat okay this one in here i will just add one more middleware or and it should be also verified so by typing verified only verified users can access that link so let's click here in here as you guys can see i got an error that the view or verify email not found to fix this issue we have to scroll down in our web.php and in here in the state of verify email we just have to delete the email part because we don't have that route we only have with the name of verify then inside here let's uh, click also and scroll down until you find this link route verification dot recent so it's changed to send only if uh, you guys come here and check it's send so now let's go and refresh again okay now we got this message that the email has been not verified before proceeding please check your email for verification link if you did not receive the email click here to request another so if we click here another email has been sent now if i come to my email and click here as you guys can see i got another email the same email that we sent during the registration so let's click this button also now let's copy the email address from here paste one two three four five six seven eight Rajit. login now let's check as you guys can see now the email has been verified now let's see how we can make our own custom email for example in here i don't want to use this template i want to create my own template and use that as an email verification email let's see how we can make that for that we have to come to app service provider and we don't need this 
we have to create our own by typing here view and give him the path of our uh, view so i will make a new blade file in art with the name of verify dash custom then in here i will also send to data with head one user which will i will use to fetch the username so this will be inside notifiable then i will send the url so i will send type url darson url now let's go and create our odd.custom.blade file inside our odd and in here i will create a new file with the odd.custom.blade.php now in here let's add our html okay so i got this template from the internet now i am going to use this template as in my email verification template so I can add company name for example let's add some thing for this company and let's add the name also in here so let we can fetch the name from the user so let's uh, type here user name and we also want to send the url which we send in here so let's copy this one also and send it as an url so url now if you want to change anything you can change here also now let's save this let's go to our project and click the register now i will test user now tester at gmail.com now the password also confirm password Let's click the register. Okay, so registration is done. Now let's check our email. We got a new email to tester. So here yeah, the the company name that we sent this company, and here we can see that we got the name. Now let's click the verify email. Okay, now we are here. So I will type the email. Let's copy it exactly from here so now this column is empty let's paste it here let's add the password login and we have logged in successfully now let's go to our database and check there as you guys can see this user has been verified so this is how we can create our custom template email this is it for this video. Hope you guys enjoy and like this video. If you have any questions, write it down in the comment. And don't forget to press the subscribe button.